one most native american groups of yucatan the state of yucatan is located in the northern half of the yucatan peninsula in southeastern mexico it is surrounded by the mexican states of campeche southwest and quintana roo southeast and by the gulf of mexico the 20th largest state in the mexican republic yucatan is made up of 39,524 square kilometers or 2 percent of mexico's total land area and is the 20th largest state in the mexican republic the state is about half the size of Maine and shares a 342-kilometer coastline with the Gulf of Mexico. The state of Yucatan has 106 municipalities. The capital of Yucatan is Merida. In 2010, Yucatan had a population of 2,097,175 people, ranking it no. 21 among the Mexican states in terms of population. The capital of the state is Merida, which had a population of 1777,615 in 2010, representing 37.1% of the state's total population. It is believed that human beings have probably inhabited the area of present-day Yucatan for 7,000 years or more. For the last few thousand years, the Mayan Indians have inhabited the entire Yucatan Peninsula, as well surrounding regions. The physically boundaries of the ancient Mayan Empire spanned across a region that now includes parts of five nations. In the south, the Mayan world consisted of modern-day Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, and western Honduras. The northern reaches of Mayan territory included large portions of five Mexican states, Yucatan, Quintana Roo, Tabasco, Campeche, and Chiapas. In all, the territory occupied by the Maya was probably 500,000 square kilometers in area and is sometimes referred to collectively as El Mundo Maya, the Mayan world. The Mayan culture flourished for many centuries, with the people making a living through agriculture, hunting, and fishing. The Mayan archaeological sites left behind testify to a people who were skilled at weaving and the creation of pottery and other artifacts. The Early Mayans the Mayans studied the stars and, in their study of astronomy, were able to develop their own calendar. They were gifted architects who built temples and pyramids, but they were also farmers who provided sustenance for their communities. The Classic Period took place from 300 to 900 AD and covered most of the area presently recognized as El Mundo Maya. It was followed by the Gay Post-Classic Period, which lasted from about 1000 AD to 1500 AD. The Mayan Languages The Mayan language group has been divided into several groups, the Huastec, Yucatec, Western Maya, and Eastern Maya linguistic groups. The Huastec represent a northern extension of the Mayan people who settled in present-day Veracruz. The Western Maya language group consists of several significant language groups, Celtal, Tzotzil, Kol, Tojolabal, Chudj, Kanjobal, Jacaltico, Contal, and Motozintlec, most of which are spoken in Chiapas and Guatemala. The Yucatec language was and is spoken throughout much of the Yucatan Peninsula, which presently includes three Mexican states, Yucatan, Campeche, and Quintana Roo, and the northern parts of both Belize and Guatemala. The Yucatec Maya Language For many centuries, the Yucatec Maya has been the dominant Mayan language throughout the Yucatan Peninsula, including Campeche, Yucatan, and Quintana Roo. The language was documented in the ancient hieroglyphs of the pre-Columbian Maya civilizations at several archaeological sites and may be as old as 5,000 years old. Even at the time of the 2000 census, 799,696 individuals in the entire Mexican Republic still spoke this language. This number does not include the other major Maya linguistic groups, such as the Tzeltal, Tzotzil, Huasteca, and Col, all of which thrive in several other Mexican states. 16 Mayan States The Maya ethno-historian Ralph L. Royce has written that 16 native Maya states occupied most of the Yucatan Peninsula in the early 16th century and that this population was remarkably uniform in language, customs, and fundamental political ideas. Except Acalan in present-day Tabasco, all 16 provinces spoke the Mayan language, in Acalan, they spoke the Contal language of Tabasco. Some of the 16 provinces were the true political units, while others were loose confederations of autonomous communities, as well as groups of independent and mutually hostile states whose ruling families had a common lineage. 
According to Professor Royce, the inhabitants of the peninsula seem to have considered themselves a single people, and each of these territorial divisions was called a cuchcabal, literally jurisdiction, which the Spaniards translated as province. Because of the peninsula's political fragmentation, the historian Nancy M. Ferris writes that, the Maya had no overarching imperial structure that could be toppled with one swift blow to the center. As a result, there was no single government that could be forced to surrender. Also, the region was lacking in both gold and silver. As a result, the Spaniards took centuries to completely subjugate the entire peninsula. Each of the Maya provinces had to be negotiated with, and failing that, they had to be conquered separately. For this reason, the Spanish conquest of the Mayan chiefdoms was a much more complex task than the conquest of the massive Aztec Empire, in which case the empire fell after the Aztec emperor and his circle of lieutenants were eliminated. First Contacts with the Spaniards, 1508-1523 Vicente Yanez Pinzon was the first navigator to visit the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in 1508. A second expedition, led by Juan de Valdivia, was shipwrecked along the coast in 1511. Most of the men who made it ashore were killed by natives. But two men, Geronimo de Aguilar and Gonzalo Guerrero, were captured by the Maya. While Guerrero became a member of the Mayans and married the daughter of a chieftain, Aguilar was rescued by Hernán Cortés as he passed along the coast in 1519 and became an interpreter for the Spaniards in their confrontations with the Mayans and other tribes. Cortés Francisco de Córdoba's expedition to the area in 1517 was met with several bloody engagements and was followed the next year by an expedition under the command of Juan de Grijalva, who landed from Cuba, landed near Cozumel, and took formal possession of the land for Spain. A year later, Hernán Cortés led a new campaign that eventually made its way to the heart of the Aztec Empire and ended in the conquest of Tenochtitlan, in 1521. After the conquest of the Aztecs, Pedro de Alvarado, one of Cortés's chief lieutenants, began his conquest of the Mayans in late 1523. However, most of Alvarado's campaign concentrated on the Quiche Maya and Cacchicol of present-day Guatemala. The Conquest, 1526-1539 In December 1526, a wealthy nobleman, Francisco de Montejo, was granted a royal contract, capitulation, to raise an army and conquer the Yucatan Peninsula, which today consists of three Mexican states, Campeche, on the west, Yucatan, on the north, and Quintana Roo, on the east. In 1527, commanding three ships and several hundred Spanish soldiers, Montejo left Spain destined for the Yucatan. His force arrived at Cozumel in September 1527 and proceeded inland. Early in 1528, the Spaniards fought a large battle at Ake, 10 miles north of Tizimin, which is about 160 kilometers from Merida. Both sides suffered an incredible number of casualties. Soon after, Montejo left the Yucatan with a greatly reduced force. Montejo made plans for another expedition to Yucatan. This time, he would be accompanied by his son, who was called El Mozo, the youthful, and his nephew, known as Sabrino. The second attempt to conquer the indigenous peoples of the Yucatan took place from 1531 to 1535. For a while, the younger Montejo had subdued portions of northern Yucatan. However, news of the great riches found by Pizarro and his soldiers in Peru, 1528 to 1532, led to many desertions among the Spanish force in Yucatan. The elder Montejo became the captain general of Honduras in 1535, but lost his claim to that territory in 1539, after which he moved on to Tabasco, where his son was governing. He would return to Honduras to govern in 1542, 